So how long did you look at these before you started I making would the say costume? I lived with these. I didn't start sketching uh, everybody. I started on Beetlejuice's suit and Lydia about two years ago, two and a half years ago. And then about a year and a half ago, about a year ago, so way into it, I started everybody else. But Beetlejuice was first, so here he is. And we went back and looked at the original ideas. This is like Tim Burton's first sketches for Beetlejuice. You see, it wasn't all just striped. It was some of it which is like underwear and that great one. And then this is the... So this, this is literally his first sketch, right, of, of Beetlejuice. So see, one, different shoes. So then I started playing with these, just playing like different... And um, then I just did these because we have a green one, a red one, a purple one. And then, of course, look at what, um, is that Dolce Gabbana? Anyway, so many people have been sort of channeling, channeling this recently. And I just thought, well, that is so Tim Burton. So we had to do that. So look, it proves that that's what it is. It's not just a drawing. <laughs> so lots of times drawings are, are just are hard to communicate. And so you look at all these drawings and then you put together what the design is? I look at everything and I surround in this studio. It's got 26 of these boards and they're four by eight. And they're made out of uh, insulation board, blue or pink. These happen to be blue, see? Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I paint them white and, you can, and they're very light. So you can move them around and turn them around. And so right on the other side, right on the other side, we have Tootsie. So uh, I've been doing Tootsie and Beetlejuice at the same time, but it's fabulous. I have never gotten them confused. <laughs> Tim Burton, totally different from, from uh, the world of Tootsie. Stripes, you see. And then this is part of our ad campaign. Yes. So, and look, but stripes everywhere. Stripes under the pier, stripes. And then, of course, look what he did with all his squares. So it's really channeling Tim Burton as if Tim Burton actually drew all these costumes on every single person, which is I did for the workshop. And it's very heavy. And uh, it's just fabric layered on it. And of course, there's the moldy and the grave stuff, you know, all that. And But it's just too heavy. This I later painted as the, uh, the green shirt. I painted that myself. And then we had to then we photocopied it, believe it or not, for his other shirt, and then we had to come in and paint those off. But this was too heavy because, you know, there's a lot of running around. Let me show you what I did. In order to photograph the fabric, which is the new thing, I made a co fabric collage. See, it's shimmery and it, it has sort of stripes. And see, it's dark on this side, ombres from dark to light. And it's all with fabric and lace. And see the back, it's just sort of sewn. And what do you mean photograph? Well, so I photographed this. Professionally, I didn't do it because it's a professional photograph. And then we printed that out. And then I also made Beetlejuice stripes. And it's three different fabrics. It's wool, it's velvet, and then I made these because I wanted it to look like Tim Burton was drawing all of these stripes on the suit, like a white suit, himself. And then we printed this on top of this. So hold that image. Because see, I printed them on all these. See, see how thin that is. So it first was the plane that you saw, okay, and then we printed the black, and I printed it on all these fabrics with different life in them. You see, they're sort of jacquards. Okay. They shimmer, and you can really see it. Look on his shoulders. Oh, wow. See, you can see the different ones. And then here they are. Well, so, here's the heavy pants. So, hold these. These are the pants we made first. Oh my gosh, these are so heavy. Uh-huh. Oh, wow, what a difference. What's See, the weight difference? You know, like a, a, a tenth, a tenth of the weight. I haven't actually weighed it. I guess I could, but I do have a scale. But. So that was the idea, is to make him comfortable and be able to move along, move around and jump around. But you see, on, also on this fabric, I added for darker stripes, I added some velvet. Then I have two different shades of metallic and a black metallic. See, to give it depth. 
So, uh, and you can actually sort of, you can see them. You can see all these. They all add to it, you know. You can't see it as much just there, but you can see all these. So these are my, uh, so that's the big deal, is discovering how to make it look like uh, Tim Burton actually drew these costumes on the people. That was the mission. And uh, we started with him. And then with Lydia. Yes. These are all Lydia's fabrics. See her goth girl, and then her surprise party dress. There used to be a pink one. Uh, and then this is the wedding dress with all these different fabrics. The idea is Lydia would like go to thrift stores and buy prom dresses in red and cut them up and put them together. <laughs> At least that's what, that's what uh, Sophia and I figured out. Do you work she, together with her to oh, figure that oh, out? Oh, very What her closely. story was? Yes. Well, she's been the first Lydia, the only Lydia. She's very talented. And here she is in the blonde wig, which we did first, you see. We did all these little creepy... Creepy looks in, in uh, blonde, which I prefer to the black. I think the black is obvious. And so here we are. So that's, that's all, of her, all of her fabrics. This is her track. And then these are the mourners all in all their, their glory, all the different crazy weird. Look how creepy that is. That's a fur. Where do you, you, made, where do you find no, these No, we fabrics? found them everywhere, all over the planet. Oh, my gosh. And, this uh, feels soft. Let's see. And it's all these wonderful sort of spider webby type crazy. When you combine them, they end up looking like spiders have been living here, living in the clothes, which of course is your worst nightmare, which we want. See like that, look at that. Look how creepy crawly that is. But of course you can't just put it on black, so you have to put it on top of something that bounces. So, so you can see it. So what you can it see is. see it, exactly. Interesting. So, and the men's mourners, like this is one, this is actually for this one right here. This is sort of gray and black. But look, isn't that, believe it or not, we did not make this fabric. It comes out of the head of Zeus. Go. We used to have a boy band that had burned up, and that's what all this bottom stuff is. It's the, uh, they called it Boy Inferno. It's very funny. And these are all the people in that hell scene, right? Yes. When they go. They were in it. This, I just haven't taken it off this board because we made them and they were in, in um, D.C. But so channeling uh, Shogoth, uh, I used different versions that we saw, like you know, different bits of the hair in Tim Burton, and then combined them in and sort of. And I wanted to see how. Let's see, where's the other red? Yeah, see the gooky red. It looks very bloody. It's all based on these and various things like that. If you live with Tim Burton for months and months and months and months and months it's easier to start drawing because he's just gets, it's osmosis. I call this design by osmosis. You sort of surround yourself and it's Leslie Christopher. But of course I turn it around and now it's Lily. See, there's Lily. They're the ladies in, um, right on the other side are the Fellini ladies in uh, Tootsie. Let's see, maybe on this, not on this. But it's on here. He knows it. I know that's country panda. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh. I get confused. Oh, yes, here's Tootsie. Here's the Renaissance. And we switch yeah. shows. Yes. So this is the Renaissance. And let's see what else is here. Oh, that's more Santino looks. I also have taken out uh, Princess Diana and Little Dancer. They were on the back of all this because I had four. Oh, here you go. See, nice. I think it's quite different. Where'd you get these pictures? These are new ones, aren't they? Uh, they were from that photo shoot from a while ago. It was like the tests for the posters and things. Oh. So I think opening up, and well, we actually, the new one, this is off the shoulder more. Yeah, these are all from that, I see.